Welcome back to another episode. This is Africa Farming. My name is Samuel and I'm glad that you're back watching our episodes. If you've not watched some of our videos, go back to our channel and pick any of the videos that will actually entice your heart and get to watch it. Of course, when you watch, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you've not subscribed, and you can actually give us your feedback on every video that you watch through the comment section. You can also connect with us on Instagram as uh, Africa Farming KE, Facebook Africa Farming, Twitter Africa Farming KE, and YouTube, of course, we are here as Africa Farming. So right now you might be wondering, most people have been asking why we haven't started, you know, farming, you know, crop farming, basically. Of course, we've started animal farming with the chicken. So guys have been asking, why haven't we started crop farming? Now, the reason was simple. Our farm lies on a 10 acre piece of land, 10.5 approximately. But now where we are, we have a lot of wild animals. And some of these wild animals include hare, sungura, for those people who love Swahili. We also have squirrels and all that. So one of the challenges that we've been facing, especially my farm manager here, a little Jack, Jackson, I'm being hi. Hi. Raja, by the way, thanks a lot for uh, uh, those those people who watch us. Raja, by scale, I'm going to donate to you. Okay. I'm going to say, Jackson, I'm going to ask you, what's your name? I'm going to ask you, what's your name? I'm going to ask One of our viewers just called me on that number that I always give, and they decided to donate this bicycle for Jackton. So to me, let up here, Asante Sana, you know yourself, and wherever you are, Asante Sana for this bike. Um, so people have been asking why we are not doing crop farming. And as I had started telling you, uh, we've been having challenges to do with wild animals like uh, hare, squirrels, and all that. So like uh, Jackton had actually planted, as you can see on your screen, there's just like a section that he had planted some skuma wiki and uh, these wild hare and the squirrels were coming to eat the skuma wiki. So one of the things that we have to do and we had already started doing is fencing using chicken mesh. Now you might ask why we are doing, we are using chicken mesh. And the reason is simple. Um, uh, chain link, chain link is very expensive. Of course, you know, chain link is better in preventing wild animals from getting into your farm. But it's a little bit pricey when you're considering uh, when you're considering fencing a hollow 10 acres. It's always, of course, affordable if it's a small piece. But for the whole farm, it might be a little bit pricey. And right now, we are, we cannot be able to afford that. So what we opted for uh, is a cheaper solution by using chicken mesh. Now, chicken mesh, you can see from that other side where the main gate is, we've already started doing the chicken mesh around it. So if you see the 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 the, the pine trees, the pine trees that we've planted that other side, they're actually growing so well. And also the K-Pole fence, they're growing so well. But this other side that has not been fenced, you'll you'll see that uh, some of the K-Pole uh, seedlings have been eaten by rabbits, the wild hare, and the squirrels, and whatever wild animals there are out here. And of course, we have people who also, remember we're in Maasai land, people have uh, sheep, goats and all that. So where you've not put the, the chicken mesh, you'll find that uh, the goats and the sheep will come and, you know, feed on the trees and the cable. So right now what we're doing, as you can see what Jackton is doing, of course, I've added some of the pine trees that you're supposed to plant along the fence. But also where he's stepped on, we have chicken mesh. As I've told you, it's a cheaper option. Of course, not as long lasting as chain link, but it will work for us until at least the live fence has grown to that level where now we'll say, even if the animals come to you know feed on the fence, they'll still continue growing. Otherwise, if we don't put this, whatever it is that you're doing here along the fence is just zero. So um, that is another thing. The other thing is I told you, we are almost bringing uh, our chicken to this chicken house, the farm chicken house. And another thing that we had also uh, brought with us, uh, we have this. This is what we call the feeding trough. Yeah, it's made of aluminum or whatever. Then we have the, the watering uh, trough where they'll actually be getting their water from. So we have all of them in the car. So we'll actually be taking all of them to the chicken house so that when we bring the chicken, at least they already have a place where they can be feeding on. Otherwise, uh, this was just an updates, um, an updates video. Very soon, for those who've been asking, you'll be seeing us planting 
once uh, Jackton has finished. Actually, Jackton is the one who does the, the fencing for us. So once he's completed doing it, you'll see us now getting into crop farming. Otherwise, enjoy the video. And until next time, Changam Kana Okulema. Bye, bye, bye.